All right, people. Welcome back to the YouTube grind. I'm going to pick up a little bit around here real quick. All righty, we are ready to go. Um, I want to grill at a work picnic, so that's why, that's why this bad boy is right here. But today we are going to go after the Michigan State Brooksville's helmet. So it comes in two bags real quick. Um, before we get started, I am actually going to show you guys some of my other Brixels builds that I've made, and I can do a tutorial on them if you guys would like to watch those. So I'll be right back. Just give me one moment. Let me shut the doors real quick. All right, so the first one I will show is Albert, the Florida Gators mascot. I really like this one. This one I find very cool as the little tail. It was definitely a tough one during COVID. I kind of just got addicted to these things and just, just making them. So here's Albert. I will actually set Albert right here so you guys can all see him wave at you guys. I'll grab a couple more. So in theme with Michigan State that we're doing, I have the Sparty mascot. And like I said, I made all these ones. So if anyone needs help on any of these things, or if you guys want me to do a direction tutorial type thing about how to read the directions they have, I can easily do that for you guys. Here right here is the Michigan State Spartan one. We'll put, we'll put Sparty right back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I just got a nice little plain, simple Green Bay Packer football. Love the Packers, as you can see by this. Take this hat down. Go put this bad boy right here. And then I also completed another helmet as well. I have the Green Bay Packers football helmet is complete. This is the mini one, not the big one. The mini one's really nice. I enjoy it. The directions for the mini one and this one are the same, so I will kind of show you how I read these and how I go through the process, but we'll add this bad boy right there. Oh, yeah, that looks sweet. I'll go grab my favorite ones that I have that have taken me a long time to do, and I should have recorded them, but of course I didn't. Here is the first one I will show. It is Ben Hill Griffin Stadium, the Florida Gators Stadium. This one was pretty fun to build. Definitely an intense build. Very intricate. If you've ever been to the swamp, it shows so much of the detail. Like right here, you have the, the swamp stickers that you always see around Florida. So this one's pretty cool. I really like it. I'm from Michigan. Florida was one of my dream schools. Didn't end up going there, but still have so much love for Florida. This was actually right here, the first Brixel I ever made. It is the Lambeau Field Brixels. It is a monster. I made this one maybe three years ago. Similar layout to the Florida one, but this one was huge. You have the Packer Pro Shop area. It's just really, really cool. I really like the design, and it's it's a big boy. It's a, it's a big one. And the last one that I have is, since I am from Michigan, and we're doing the Michigan State one to keep up with theme, is Spartan Stadium. This one was pretty fun to make. I had a good time making it during COVID. This was actually one of my, for graduating college, one of my gifts that my dad gave me, which I find really sweet. I've been to so many Michigan State games. I actually added these four seats because this is where my brother and I, we always get seats up here 
because you can see the whole field. Like I'd like the nose bleed seats because I can see exactly what's going on. All right, I'll put these back away. And then we will get working on the next helmet. All righty, let's get this bad boy started. All right. So as you can see, the directions do not shy away with starting off with some hard ones right away. But we will open these up. Set this towards the back. Oh yeah, you kind of make a mess at first when you first lay out all these pieces. They definitely definitely can be overwhelming sometimes. Lay that one out. Open up this other bag as well. We will add it to the monster pile. All right. So make sure you get every single piece out of the bag. Sometimes there's smaller pieces that might get stuck. And I kind of just spread it out, kind of get a feel for, okay, these are the type of pieces. Lots of these three pieces or six type. Then we got these four or eight dots. I do have one of these from one of my stadium builds. I don't know if they all come with one of these. I will check if the Michigan State one comes with it, but I definitely recommend, okay, it does. So these things are lifesavers. Try to get a little bit closer. These things right here are lifesavers. If you have a mistake, you just plop it on. I got this, add these two together. So you just plop it on and then you can just pull it apart and it will help you get leverage to just pop it off. All right, so the first step we have right here, we need to get a longer piece, okay? And we're gonna get one, four, and two threes. So it says we first wanna have the longer piece down first. So just double check, four, eight, we want eight across. So a piece like this, I'll set that down. Then I grab the three, the two, three across. Then I grab one, four across and dropped it, but caught it, thankfully. So how I kind of read the directions is they have arrows. So I follow the arrows. So for example, for this spot, the arrow says, hey, put this piece, put the end of this piece right over here. So I'll just plop it in right there because the arrow told me, sorry, I'm trying to look over here because the arrow told me to put this corner piece right on that spot. So only just one nub would be hanging off. And then I followed that through and then I see they want me to put the four out one. So the four will be out one. And then they want me to put the three piece in like the same type spot. So there we are with one level. We want to make it look like this with one level. All right. Now on to step two. Seems like they want us to get one three across. One, two, or square. And then they want us to get a six across. Always make sure that you do the right amount across or the right amount of dots. Because if you accidentally do one that's too big or too small, it can really mess up the whole entire build. And then this spot, it can get a little tricky on this next step, step two. 
how I really look at it is I look at the bottom pieces. I look at the part that's grayed out and I really try to follow that because you're looking at like an over the top side view. So this piece, the six piece would go right here, would go right here, okay? And then you put the three across piece that's gonna be on your base, you set it right there, right here. And then the two, as you can see on the directions with the grayed out area, it's supposed to be flush. So I'll just make sure that that's flush. And that's the back, that's the back that I'm looking. So every time I pick this up, this will be the flush part will be the back. The part that's staggered will be the front. So now we're already on to step three. Here we go, let's have a party. We want an eight across, and then they want us to get a two, a square. So on this step, same thing. So the grayed out part kind of shows you what your thing should look like before you even go to the next step. And then the colored one will be what you are adding on to it. So how I can kind of tell on this one is you can see a little bit of area. You don't see the gray right below this. So I know it's gonna stick out one. So that's kind of how I can tell if I don't see the gray right underneath the block it tells me to do, it's gonna stick out one. So I'll just follow along right here. We'll put this longer piece right here. Bam, locked and loaded. Then we'll grab the two and we'll put it right here off the edge. So there we go. There we have it so far. And always just make sure that you keep track of what's at the back, what's at the front, and make sure that the bottom of what you are laying down lines up with what's in the picture. And that can really help you out. It can really, I mean, I definitely have messed up a couple of times on some of my other ones. So I've had moments where I'm like, no, I shouldn't have done that. So it definitely can get a little bit tough and tricky. Now, step four, this one's a tough one. So what we'll do is we'll just gather up all the pieces we need. So they want us to get two squares, grab the two squares. They want us to get two, three pieces, grab the two, three pieces. And I always line them up that way. Okay, here's all my twos, here's all my threes. That way I don't mix them up. Get a four white, spread that out. And then we also want a, six, a six white. And just make sure that you're not going too fast and you just take your time. Taking your time is the biggest key. It can help you make from mis making mistakes that can really mess up and hinder how you're going. I'm gonna put on a hat. It's kind of a, it's kind of a hat day today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So now that we have this piece, we also need a, not that, three white. We need a three white. All right, we got our three white. So how I am gonna do this one is first step would be to put the white right here, right at the edge of your tip that you just made, right here. So this is gonna be the start of the face mask. Where I put it there is I lined up where it had on the dots, they, had a, they have a red arrow, red arrow, and I just lined that up correctly. And then they have another red arrow for where you're gonna put your three piece. Other red arrow. Completely flush with this piece is sticking out just a tad. So we'll do that. And then we also want to add the fork. And the arrows really are key in this. You want to match up the holes where they have the arrow to where you are putting the bottom piece. If you match up the holes, it definitely can help you from avoiding, it can help avoid mistakes. 
That's one thing that I found out with it. So now we're going to add a three piece. They want us to go diagonal from it. Then the other three piece is kind of going to do go out one. And then we're going to do a two and we're going to slowly bring it on back. Keep on fumbling the ball. But here we are after four steps. Here is what you should be looking at. This should be where you were at at the step. All right, now we are on step five. Step five is a pretty, pretty normal basic step. We're going to add two squares. Then we're going to do one three. Then we're going to do one four green. And then one four white. And then kind of like what I do is I, I look at the picture because we have had questions about how I read this. So I look at the picture and I match up everything that's gray with where I'm going to put the next piece. That is key is just matching up what you have already laid down with where you're going to put it. So I'm going to put that to that four, four white right here. Two green and, and you can tell like after a while it kind of gets like in that repetitive motion where you kind of can guess how it's going to be laid out which at that point you can just go flying through this but I want to take my time that way I can explain it very well how I am building it and what I'm looking at that way when you we're doing this together we can easily get things done all right we are gonna put the three right here and then put the two right here. So there we have it. There we have it. Step five is complete already. Already done with step five. Just like that, we're already getting there. It's a party up in here, Brody. Yes, it is. All right. Step six, we are going to have three, three pieces, th three diagonal. That's how I call it. Or three across. Three across It's kind of how I justify what I'm looking at and then we want a six a six green which isn't the biggest it's the second to biggest green we got and then we want a four white four white all right so like I said before I'm gonna start at the tip right here and I'm gonna match what I have and what I already have with the gray and just ride it all out and make sure that everything flows weird flows good and if it looks weird and looks slightly off double check of these steps make sure everything is lined up good because it's easier to catch the mistake at the beginning than if you wait to the end because if you wait for the end you know you could be so far in that it could mess up a lot of things because if you mess up what you're working on it can mess up the whole helmet and it can be shifted one way and it's just it, it's hard to fix the mistake all right so they want this to hang off by two. So that's that. So I found out my first piece that I'm going to lay. And the goal is once you find out your first piece that you're going to lay, it will make the rest of the things so much easier. It's just knowing that first piece, where you want to put it, and then everything else just works off it. Three diagonal. Shoot them back. All right, here is the completion for part A. This is what you should be looking at if you are working on part A. This is what it should be looking like. Should be looking like this. All right, so part A is done. That's kind of like the bottom part, your foundation. It gets easier from there. I'll probably just do the first couple things. I'll probably do a quick... This will probably be a little hour live stream just to really get into how to do this because I did make a Green Bay Packer helmet one that was hard for some people to follow, and I want to make this as easy as possible for everyone. All right, now we're going to be working on the other side. So A, I will set the side because that's so far complete. And now we got to start from the base, almost in the opposite fashion 
of how we were making it, but for B now. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna need a eight across, two, three greens, then one, four green. And like I said before, you're just gonna match the arrows to the dots on here. And if you match it correctly, you will be all set. So step seven, you should be looking at something like this. This should be where you're looking at for step seven. All right, on to the next, on to the next. All right, we're gonna need a three green piece, a square green, and then a six across green. Got my pieces. And once you get your pieces, it, it, it can really flow. And you, like I said before, you just wanna make sure that you have everything exactly where they are supposed to be while you're building and you just line up make sure everything works looks good and we'll just quickly do this one so here is what we should be looking at at the completion of step eight right like that all right, step nine, it's only two pieces that we need. We want a eight across green, the biggest green, and then we also want a square green as well. So from looking at this, look at the picture, see in gray is what we should see that we already have made. So I'll just look at this and I'll be like, okay, so this green piece goes right here. Cause that's how, cause that's what I can see in gray is I can see the five threes in gray, click it right there, put the two where it's supposed to go. And there we go. Step nine is complete. All right, on to step 10. So step 10, we're gonna need two square greens. Hold up, I have a text. All right, two square greens. Then we're gonna be looking for a six white, then a three white, Three green, two, three greens, then one, four white. All right. So kind of like same type thing that we were doing last time, just making sure we line everything up correctly. And you can look at the, your previous one to see like, okay, this kind of makes sense how I'm doing this because it should look like inversely like you're looking in the mirror so that's definitely one way you can kind of catch yourself and be like oh that makes sense or oh no that does not make sense and it's just that extra security that you get and just make sure the arrows match with where you're putting your pieces And like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know and I can answer your questions. All right, so step 10, we should be looking something like this. Yes, sir. All right, on to step 11. So we're gonna want a four white. 
a four green, three green, and a two green. Same thing, I look at what's in gray. What's in gray is what I should already have, and what's in color is what I am adding to it. So I just make sure everything looks right. If I'm laying a piece down, make sure like, okay, yep, that makes sense because I'm laying this piece there. This is, should be what I see. The directions definitely can be tough your first time doing that. I remember being so confused and just like, how how does this work? Why is this why is this set up like that? And I can totally understand how it can be confusing at first. Totally can understand. So if you guys have any questions or anything, shoot me something. Let me know what's going on. Comment on this video and I will answer any of your guys' questions and just try to help you guys out because. Making bristles is pretty cool. It's definitely harder than Legos. I will, I will, I will say that. All right, here is what we should be looking at once we complete step eleven. This is what we should be looking at after step 11. All right, time for step 12. So we'll grab a four white, a six green, and two, three greens. One, two, three. All right, same thing as before. Just look at the picture, make sure what's in gray lines up with what you have. It's kind of repetitive, and I know I keep on repeating it, but that is key to making sure that you can do this correctly and make sure that you don't, you know, you just don't mess up, that everything works out. Alrighty, here is the completion of part B. So step 12, the completion of part B, and this is what part B should be looking like. And like I said, they should be complete opposites of each other. And then you're gonna set this down like this, and that's how you're gonna work. You're gonna work like this, and you're gonna just build on top of each other and connect each other. It's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy it. But first, we're going to build a base for the face mask. The other one I made already had a pre-made one-piece face mask, so it was easy for me to punch in. This one, not going to be as easy. So we're going back to step A. We need two single white pieces. So once I connect them, I think that will be the end of this video for today. I will try to do a video today. I will try to do more videos, more live streams of me building these things. All righty. So this one, you are going to follow the directions right here and just implement it. So follow these directions and then follow the arrows to correctly place your part. I haven't done this before, so I'm going to be learning along with you guys.
See, and I just messed up actually. So I'm not perfect myself when it comes to these things. Let me try to, yeah, this step is definitely a tough one. Um, just follow the directions and just let me work on this real quick. Okay. Okay. So at the end of the day, you want this to look something like this. If you follow the directions, it should look something like this. All right. And then now we grab this part and we just attach it to it. Hello, Jackie, how are you doing? Earlier on in the live stream, I kind of went through how I read these and how that's the overtop view. I will um, I will keep going through that. I probably have another 30 minutes left of this live stream, so hopefully I can help. If you have any specific questions that you have, I could try to find the Packer one, and I could try to show you kind of like what I read about it, but here is the helmet. So I can believe that it looks really cool. It's a really cool helmet. I really like the build of it. But yeah, if you have any questions about what's going on right now, I'm kind of going through my reading process and how I how I line everything together. So I follow with the gray. See right here is where I want to put it. So I'm going to put this. This piece right here. All right. So kind of one of my key key ways of looking at this is I look in the gray and I make sure that what I have already built matches with the gray. And the white, of course, is what I'm going to be adding to it. So I just make sure it matches, make sure that where I'm putting this piece is in the correct spot. As you can see, as you can see, I have put it in the correct spot and it is in the right way. You kind of just have to take your time and you really have to align, even align like the little ends of the blocks and make sure everything is perfect because if you mix it up, you can end up just being stuck. So I think the next page will be part B. Yeah, so part A is done. Now we'll go on to part B. Yeah, once, I, once these things finally connect just a little bit, I will probably end the video and that will be it for right now. Like I said, I'll try to do another video tomorrow um, no promises, as you can tell. I haven't done a live stream in a while, and I gotta just kind of set everything up that way. It works good. What we're gonna do on one of these, one of these, two, two single whites, two single white pieces, and then we're gonna want two, three whites, and one, two white. But Jackie, let me, um, I don't, I don't know where I would have kept it, uh, kept the directions at, to be honest, but all the directions are kind of relatively the same. So we'll just keep on, keep on, keeping on. Uh, 
All right. All right, for step 14, part B, your white part should be looking like this. And you will just, like I said, line up, make sure everything that you have is lined up exactly where it's supposed to go. And bam, there we have it. This part of B is done. This part of A is done. As you can see, the helmet is starting to come on together all right time for the fun part time to try to start bringing these things together here's what we have right now part a on this side part b on this side make sure everything's lined up kind of look at the gray make sure you're putting the pieces exactly i like to start from one end work my way to the back start from one end work my way to the back all right let's get after this next step this is when it starts to get fun All right, we're going to want two white fours. Two two across whites. Four corner greens. Two square greens. And two three greens. Then six, four whites, four, five, six. All right, so I'll start from one end. I'll start from right here, and I'll just work my way back, make sure everything's lined up with the gray. Let me know if you guys would want another angle. If you don't want to see my face and you want an angle of just, just the helmet and what I'm working on, I can change the angle in the next video. Just let me know either in the comments or on Instagram or wherever you find me. Just if you want to change the if you want me to change the angle, I can easily do that. I just wanted this one so you can see my face, you know. I think I'm actually going to change the angle in the next video. So the next video, it will be more an angle of my hands and what I'm doing. And I won't really be in the video, but my hands will be in the video. That will be my next video. Sorry about this one. But the next video, I'll do a more from head down approach. In the next video. Sorry for the quietness. I'm just concentrating, trying to get things situated. Making sure everything is sitting all righty. Alrighty, after step 15, this is what the A side will look like. You want the A side 
to look like this. You gotta be careful. They wanted you to add this little tip right here. So you had to actually do, like I said before, follow the arrows and you had to follow it. And that's why this tip showed up on the bottom. But like I said before, I will, in my next video, change my angle so it's a more heads down approach so you can see how my hands work. Sorry for how I had this one set up. I kind of threw it together. I wanted to just get a video out there just to kind of help people with how my process is going through things. But this is what the B side would look like. All right. I think I'll do this layer and then I will be done for the day. I will be going live tomorrow around six i have a haircut and after that i will be live so i will be here and like i said i'll change the angle so it's more down approach and then if you guys like that angle better we'll be all set but this will be my last step i have greatly appreciated the conversations from you brody and you jackie you're saying hello showing your support i appreciate that Alrighty, so this one, same thing as before, follow the arrows, make sure you line up where the pins, where they want the pins. So I will put A and B to the side and I will line up what I am working with. Sorry for being quiet, just concentrating on this next step that I am working on. Um, in my next video, I will be changing the angle so you can get a more hands-on, hands-down approach of how I am doing this. I'm sorry I don't have this option available for this video, but like I said, you really just want to make sure what's in the gray lines up with what you already have before you start the next project because if it doesn't you might want to go back a couple steps go through it make sure okay this looks right this looks right Ooh, this doesn't look right let's change it change it earlier saves you so much time at the end when you're like why isn't this adding up saves you so much time if you can just find the mistake as soon as possible Alrighty, so this is what I'm working on so far. I'm working on connecting the two. So I'm just taking my time because this part is key and this part is very crucial to the process.
my computer right now sounds like it's going through a hurricane. All righty. So step 16 is complete. This is the part that you are connecting the two pieces of the helmet to. Sorry for being quiet. I was just focusing. Like I said, next video will be a top down review. So I don't have to keep holding this up for what I have done. But here's what this looks like. And then I just follow what I had before. I'll grab my A piece and line up where what's cool with those little nubs that we had to add in that previous step. That's where these things interlock. As you can see, that little nub down there interlocks right on that. Bam. That part is set. Then on the other side, same dealioli. Make sure the nubs match up. Bam, press down. And then real quick, what I would do is I would take a check and I will match the gray on here with what I have out here of what's on the bottom layer. And with all that being said and all checked, it's all good to go. Here is where we are so far in episode one, laying down the foundation. Um. I will just finish off this last step and then that will be it for me today. I will be live tomorrow around same time as today around 6.15, 6.20. And I will have a new angle with hopefully better lighting so you can see the down what I'm looking at, what I'm following. And that way it's a lot easier for you to see how I am working with things and how I'm going through the process. But like I said before, I will be looking at what's in gray is what I should have and what's in color is what I will add. I always grab the pieces that I'm going to be using for the next step first. That is the first thing I do to make sure I don't use too many pieces. I grab all the pieces I need right away. That way there's no reason of doubt for me. And I set them aside, set them in a different pile from where all the other pieces are at. That way I don't second guess, guess myself, accidentally lay down more pieces than I needed to, and then that's where confusion can come through. Alrighty. Alrighty, I will start at the end. So I will start with the white part. Starting at the end is key. That's what I highly recommend is starting in the end and working your way back. Start at the end, it's an easier way to start.
this side's done. Um, oh no. And you want to build your support as quick as you can or else things would kind of fall apart. So you gotta you gotta add this stuff and you gotta be very gingerly, you gotta be careful, you can't try to manhandle, which is one thing that I definitely this has taught, taught me patience. So you can't manhandle and try to force any part on this or else the whole thing could come apart, which if that happens, it will be a very, very sad day. Alrighty, guys. This is where I am going to leave the live for today. I, I had a good time being back. Jackie, I hope this was useful for you. I know that you had questions on this, and I wanted to make this quick. That's why I don't have this new camera set up is because I'm trying to help as quick as possible. Here we are so far working on the base. We are on to step 18, and we'll just continue going through here, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe this video for more content. Make sure you check out the channel for football card pack openings and more Lego Brixels. Please leave a like and comment and share this with your friend to make sure that you guys like this type of content and I will make more of this content. Thank you all and have a blessed day.